All right, hey everyone, uh, it's Alan here. Um, just uh, going over what I picked up this week. So this is uh, what I got from the LCS. First up is Black Panther number six. Um, this has been a great series. Uh, I love what uh, Ridley's doing with it. And uh, just gonna continue to read that. Uh, nice House on the Lake number nine. It's been hit or miss. Um, right now we're at a little mesh point i guess you would say on whether it's good or not um it started off like fire like first five six issues and then the last two have been iffy but uh i'm hoping it's finishes strong when we got three left <clears throat> red sonya red sitha that is basically just the uh a child that red sonya comes upon in the regular red sonya series and uh, her name is sitha and uh, sitha however you want to pronounce that and uh, this shows her all grown up one of my favorites, um, Lady Death, uh, Sacrificial Annihilation. I was going to get the B cover, the bedside cover, because I thought it was cool. But um, I, I stayed with this one because I love purple. I, I just I really love purple. So I stayed with this one. Uh, Lady Death is awesome. How Coffin Comics does uh, Lady Death is that it's chapters. So Sacrificial Annihilation is chapter 14, and this is part one and usually two parts to each chapter. So if you want to go back and catch up some of the older ones, just go to coffincomics.com and you'll be able to get some. You also get uh, exclusives like I did that one right there. That is uh, that is the one that was my first slab, actually. Um, so we have Justice League, Road to Dark Crisis, one shot. Um, supposed to be a filler in between the Justice League and the Dark Crisis. So hopefully that's good. And Batman Annual 22, 2022. Um, so I have not read those. Uh, I've read two books. So uh, we have we have Demons, number three. This is uh, at the end. It says this is the end of book one. This is great. Just follows a girl named Lamb, whose father was a demon hunter or slayer, how, however you want to kill her, whatever. And uh, just follows her on her journey to actually take up that mantle. Um, it's a great read, a quick read, even though there is a lot of dialogue in it, it's just very good. It just rolls really quick. It's a great story. <clears throat> and The Walking Dead Deluxe, always an easy read, always one of my first reads whenever it comes out every two weeks because it's just so easy because I know the characters from the show. Um, never read The Walking Dead, didn't have any of those, and I know this is just a reprint, but I just want to read the story because I've seen the show and I want to see how it differs and and we're on image uh, number 40. It's very different. <laughs> so, um, also, what I got this week in the mail at the end of my whatnot pickups. So, I ordered Spider Man 299 Exodus off of Big Time. Right? I just I thought the cover was cool and it's a tribute to tw Spider Man 2099. I just liked it, so I wanted to have it. And then I also got. <clears throat> This is the one I have in a top loader right now because I have not I have not decided if I want to grade it yet because uh, you know foil cover is so hard to get a good grade. But there's the Batman, and then there is the Superman to go along with it. This is uh, World's Finest Batman Superman World's Finest number one. Great great story. If you're not reading it, you should be. It is awesome. Mark said I should have been reading it after issue one. I picked up when issue two came out. I got that, and then I got issue one. I did not read two. I read one, then two. Now three has been come out. It is fire, straight awesomeness. Uh, and uh, an awesome thing that Big Time Collectibles threw in was Hulk versus Thor Banner War, the one shot. This, uh, this was they just threw it in there as a thank you for buying those three books. So I thought that was pretty awesome. I put these in some clear backers. Uh, the foils would not fit in our, my normal resealable bags. So um, I had to put them in tape. I hate tape. Um, it's just a personal thing. I just don't like it. And the big, big pickup of the week of MegaCon of everything is Department of Truth. I believe it's, oh, let me see. That's, it's just sexy. This is a foil variant. This is a Megacon 
um, exclusive. Um, uh, Department of Truth number 18, 28, 16. I don't know what number it is. I don't really care. Um, but I, I got his straight cover bike because I love Todd McFarlane and he does a great job. So I just love this. I mean, it's just awesome. Um, if you look, this is the, the picture is the one in 100 of this issue. And so they, for Megacon, he did a foil variant of the one in 100 issue. I think it's limited to 500, I believe. So, and I picked that up at the end of Megacon on whatnot. So just awesome, sexy books, but, uh, uh, stay tuned. My things I've got coming up, uh, got the 100 sub subscriber giveaway video to announce how you can enter and all that stuff. We're getting closer. So um, wait, wait for that to drop. And also I've been tagged by Rob Fat Stacks of Comics on doing the first appearance challenge. I have put the books together, just waiting to shoot the video. Uh, kind of some different uh, first appearances. So I'm pretty sure no one's used some of them. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, thanks, guys.